good button as my first find. Wow, how delicate is that? That's a computer button. Ooh, that could have some real age to it. It's got decorative, like it's decorative. Ooh, okay, I like that. That looks interesting. Huh, I don't think it's broken. What's that? It's, yeah, it's a little bit chipped, but that is the shape that it's supposed to be. Ooh, and actually, <laughs> that one is broken. But what do you suppose that is? They're both glass. How cool. Hmm. Mystery item. I think that's probably my first bead of the day. Ooh, that's an unusual one. Lovely colour. Oh, and I think I've just uh, seen another one. I have. Okay. First two bees of the day. Lovely. And then what's this? Is this just a broken... Yes. Kind of look like a shape. Ooh. Right, I'm off to a good start. Let's carry on. Perhaps the shirt. Does this look like it could be interesting? Does it look like it could be uh, like the lid of a cigarette case? I wonder if we'll be able to get anything or clean it up. It looks like it. it that could be interesting if we can. If we manage to clean it up, maybe it'll have something on it or. Seal. This it's probably just a stone. <laughs> some glass. Stopper of some sort. Like a drip. Dabber. There might be writing on that. Take that so you can see. That is a really beautiful piece of copper. I'm sure we can use that. That's lovely. Don't know what that would have been, but it's very pretty. It's a lid. Got letters on it though. Teeny tiny one for got three holes. Good for a doll. But obviously. <laughs> Tiny button. Yes, it is. But look, it's a mother. It's a mother pearl buckle. Wow, that's amazing. It's a shame it's broken, but that's beautiful. I have to protect that. Never found one of those before. That's amazing. Oh, it's a real shame it's broken, but still beautiful. That looks like an interesting shape. Is it going to be something interesting? Might be a clean-up job, but it's, it's definitely a uniform shape, isn't it? I wonder. Hmm. And then just under where I found this, I believe that's some... Um, is that some lead shot or... It's a lead ball. <laughs> um, there's some other bits of metal. Is this going to be some typeface? Oh, yes. Oh, it looks like it could be a word. I wonder what it says. It says 10 or 01. No, beasts. Oh, I don't know. But, and a, and a word. So that's exciting. Love typeface. It looks like it's quite clear we might be able to type it. Print it too, which would be exciting. Is that a bullet casing? Oh, I'd say it was. Was. Okay. 
Auto. Okay, I'm on to a good metal spot, clearly. I think I can see that he's headless, but how much of him else is there? <sighs> Another headless soldier for our collection. Still with some paint. I love it when they still have paint. I don't know how many that is now, and they're mostly entirely from this beach. <laughs> Another unusual glass thing. Wow. Would it have just been or would it have been the base of something? Or would it have just been a glass cube? Wow, lots of mystery glass items today. I just flicked this out because it was just a corner, but I think it might be like a, a stud. Look, it's a kite-shaped piece of metal. Take it and clean it, could be exciting, could just be a, like a start off a door or something, but very cool. A yellow peach coloured one, apricot coloured. Lovely. Bone toothbrush handle. of a cowboy it looks to me almost like a cowboy or a person on a horse but it's not <laughs> but it really looks like it in my opinion anyway oh look oh my goodness I was expecting their face to be here and I thought they were covered but no it's a cheeky little face there wow hello you've got no pupils oh, I wonder what you would have come off probably be able to find out actually. Looks like that is going to be a very beautiful, rare for us coloured bead. Oh, look at that big pink opalescent bead. That is beautiful. Oh, I love it. That's amazing and actually there is a Fremlin's Vulcanite stopper, broken, but Fremlin's is a brewery from our hometown. <laughs> Not sure what you are, but you're ceramic and I'm sure you'll come in very handy for something over on the miniature channel. This find might make me sad if it's what I think it is. Oh, oh it is. I mean some of it is better than none. It's part of a thimble. I've only ever found two thimbles, which is crazy. You'd think you'd find more. But there is part of one. Part of a thimble. That looks like it could be interesting. Fingers crossed. Was it just a spoon hand? Ah, oh, just a spoon. Oh, it's a very pretty one though. Got a pattern on it. Very fancy spoon handle. <laughs> but it is just a spoon handle. But hey. the body of a soldier. Not much left of him though. <laughs> Someone's feet. <laughs> uh, it's always funny when that happens. Just see what's left of their feet. <laughs> again, okay once again we play the guess is this going to be interesting or not. I mean this looks interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's a nice shape. That'll be useful anyway. <laughs> Part of a flower. Sunshine or a vulcanite bottle stop. Mm. 
me to find the shard of the week. Aerated Bread Company, ABC. Ooh. I know, that sounds cool. Oh, I meant shard. I meant shard. Sorry. Shard. Shard stories. ABC, cool. I bet there's some history behind that. A round, but I don't think it's a coin. Uh, I don't know what that is. If I can soak it, see, it's round. <laughs> Never know. It's found a seal and this your watch face, possibly. Soak them and see. Another post office lead seal, post bag seal. Mystery square. Might have something on it, might not. Have to wait and see. Okay, so the other one might not have, but I can see from here that this one does have writing on it. The ideal. Something and Co. 90 Piccadilly. Ooh! Maybe it'll be a brush story this week instead of a shirt. Wow! Cool! Look how that up. There's also this underneath it. Is that part of a toy? Is it like a cannon or a bazooka or something? Look at that. I think I may have found a coin and not a washer. It is, it's a coin. I think it's got a, it's got a fella's face. Oh, I think I can read. I think it's 1920 something possibly, or... It's 1924. So that's almost 100 years old, that coin, which is crazy. Cool, and it looks like it should clean up really nicely. Exciting. What's this? unusual shape that is and it's got that on the back. Ooh, it's pretty. I think that's something exciting. I think. Ah. What is this? A pewter doll's lid. Is this a pewter doll's lid? A bell, yeah, yeah, look. Oh, that's adorable. Isn't it? It's got like a curly handle. Yeah. It could be dolls. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, I know what we'll be using it as. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think that is a tiny, tiny blue seed bead. Nice. Okay, I came down to show you this salt scoop spoon. Um, oh, oh no, there's too many things. Mum, you might want to come over. Okay. I've looked at this. I'll now just pick this up, which looks interesting. But I think I may have spotted a bucket list find for me over here. Are you walking? Are you walking? Do you see it, Mum? I think at the top of it might be a bit broken, but the majority of it is there. <laughs> My eyes aren't working. Uh, what, in this vicinity? <gasps> <laughs> it's the top of its head. No, it has its... Does it have a face? Snout, it has its... Look, you could just see it, that's its face oh. there. Oh. It's, it's a whistle, whistle. it is oh, a whistle! Yes, his face is just there. It's just I think it's a cat, and the like the top of his. I think his eyes are just there, but his but ears are missing. Gone. But that is a whistle. That is, um, that is the terracotta crackerjack whistle. We've got three bits of them. Got yes. Two, two whistles and one just terracotta figure. Like, like, they're like yeah. crackerjack charms again, aren't they? Like the... Yeah. It says Germany on the back. <gasps> Oh, we'll have to see if he still whistles. Yeah, I'm not going to blow him now. No, but... it's filthy. Yeah. That is amazing. Hooray! We actually found sort of nearly a complete one. It's basically complete. <laughs> it's just the top. What's he cleaning up? It's just the earless cat. 
That's another whistle here. I know. You really want to blow, but it'll be full of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Well done. I couldn't see it at all. See something interesting. It could be Ooh. also very cool down here. It might not be. This is a good patch. Yeah. Yeah, and like so this thing that I got yeah, whilst Wow, okay, well look round here then. I would not have seen that. I wouldn't have seen that. I would not have seen that. It was too much the colour of the earth. I know, it's only because I can see um this bit, the hole. What do we think this little bottle if it's complete and if it is what it looks like? No, it's not complete. What, my washer that I just pushed, put down? Yeah, it looks like it's got a tea on it. Let's have a look. Well, it, it could be, or it could just be rust, but I do see something that looks yeah. like a tea. Mm -hmm. Peeking out under that rock looks like what could something that could be really cute. It's got the top, let's see if it's got the bottom. Yeah, I mean it's... Oh, it is complete. Oh, Aww. look how tiny and square. Well, almost square. Oh, and it's got writing on it. Really? Yes, it's embossed in the corner. Does it say June? I assume it's perfume. It says June. Oh, it's a little perfume bottle. Oh, I'm taking that, yeah. Red bugle or cane bead. Great for making bead dolls. And a matching one. That's a pair of legs or arms right there. Another rare bead colour. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look, oh, look at that red. Wow. What a stunning bead. Cool. Unusually good bead day on this bit. Very decorative lead there. I'm sure that could be useful for something. There's a little patch of interesting metal things here. There's first of all there's this round thing which could be something. Could have something on it. Don't know what that is. Then there's this which I think is possibly the end of a razor. Maybe. That's nice. It's like a lamp post. It's like an S hook. It's this piece. Looks like it's got flowers on it, maybe. Could be decorative. I'm just definitely going to look here for a minute. There are things here. <laughs> just never Something. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Look at that! I told you there'd be something here! It's like, oh my goodness! <laughs> you saw me find that! It's a little brooch with like a, um, oh, shamrock, like a clover, a lucky clover. It's got my hair wrapped around it, but. I don't want to leave this spot. There's loads of stuff here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> when you said brooch, I thought you meant. <laughs> that is beautiful. Look yes. At, and this, this round this thing could be something. I don't know. Oh yeah. It's like yeah, Ooh. yeah. That's the end of a razor, I think. Wow. Good for the doll's house. I think that's got flowers on it too. Yeah. This is a very okay. good patch. I'm right, staying carry on. here. The tide's coming. Okay. <laughs> ah. Went down to look at the post office seal and 
Uh oh, I think it's a button. What? What? Well, see, if I can see. A wheel, always handy. Okay, today seems to be the day of the jewellery finds. Look at that! With its paste, just still got some of its paste gems. How fancy. So all those little glass gems we find, this is the sort of thing they would have been from. Wow, ooh, Mum Shamrock, so much jewellery. One step closer to the mudlarking chandelier of our dreams. That looks to be a really good one. Oh, I really, oh, I mean, probably getting somewhat close. We don't really need any more, but it's got, oh no, it's okay. It's got a brand, it's um, embossed with a, because it's a beautiful color and tiny. And it says, it says Roland's with a little star or a cross. So I'm definitely having that. 100% and actually just behind the camera here I think I've just picked up a hem weight so oh and the sun's come out lovely Let's see what else we can find seal that has something on it. A coin just sat on the surface. I wonder if we'll be able to clean it up. See what it was. Who's on it? Very small but is it typeface? Oh <laughs> I think it is! Oh my goodness! Look at that tiny typeface. I think it's a six. I think it's a tiny six. That's amazing shape might be a keyhole cover or something but it'll be really good for something in the miniature channel for the doll's house big bugle or cane reed one day I will learn the difference okay the tide is coming but I've just found this I think it was a seal but it's broken not much. Oh, the sun's just come out. But look! Oh, but I need to move quickly, so I have to. Sh There's a button, a horse's leg. I have to show this to Kate in a minute. I don't know what that is, but yeah, the tide is really coming now. I need to move. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's a that's a seal. Oh, such a shame! It's broken. I'm to get Kate to look at. Oh, what is that? Like a little boat? Oh, this is such a good batch. Look, there's a. Part of a number, I think. Number one, maybe. Oh, I'm going to have to show this all to Kate. But I need to keep looking because the tide is really coming. Look at all these things in a minute. But look, I think that's a soldier's head. Is that a soldier's head? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a lead soldier's head. Look at this handful. It's amazing. But I've got to keep going because the tide's coming. It's another horse's leg. <laughs> Two horses' legs. Look at this, I still haven't, I'm going to stop in a minute and look at these. I'm not sure if that is, oh, it could be a boat, I don't know. That is definitely a seal. I have to show, oh, they've still got the horse. Yeah, but the, the tide is literally there. The beach is running out. So we've got to keep looking. It's a strange shaped blob. Glass, it's not round. Nice though. That is so weird. I think that's another lucky boot. I mean, it's in much worse state than the other lucky boot that I found, but that is definitely another lucky boot. <laughs> we are having such a good day and the sun is shining. That is a lucky boot. There's another weird thing. There's all sorts of, what's this? <laughs> Nothing. I think, I think, oh, I don't, oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. There's so many little things here. 
and the tide is coming. <laughs> I'm just going to look here for a minute. Okay, this is such a good spot. I don't know if that's a watch wider. I mean, that could be something. I mean, that that could be a watch. I haven't had a day like this for ages. Yes, I don't think that's decorated. <laughs> I'm just going to keep looking for the tide comes. Okay. <laughs> we said we wanted to find gold, and I'm pretty certain that is a piece of gold. For sure. Where's Kate? Why isn't she here? <gasps> that is gold. That is gold. Okay, but like I say, I don't have time to celebrate. I've got to keep looking. <gasps> I don't know what that is. Could be something. It's a bit like a trumpet, but... <laughs> yeah, I found another lucky boot. <laughs> What's that? Need some lead to take that. It, honestly... Okay, well, yeah, I've just come over. I'm just going to look at what this is. Ooh. Can't stop looking because okay. the coming. But okay. Okay. Well, you can show me in a minute. I'll come and help you. I'll well, come to your gold. spots. Oh, okay. That's gold. casual. I've got a broken seal. I think I've got a small bow. I've got one, a lucky boot. What? A watch binder. Okay, right. Well, I'm. Um, okay, wait. We'll look. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's the gold in there. Oh, yes, yeah. There, there's the lucky boot. Oh, my gosh. There's okay. A, a, a seal. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This is a boat. Oh my gosh, okay. Um. <laughs> okay, yes, okay, go, go, go. Because the tide's just there. Have you put the chair as a guard? <laughs> Hold it back. See you. Round one. I can't believe you found a lucky boot and you didn't tell me sooner. Well, I was too busy looking. Because <laughs> the tide's so close. A gold. I've done a gold dance. You haven't done a gold dance. Let's do that. That's all just head. Two, two horses' legs. I've never been here when the tide's been this high, have we? No. Oh. So I told you, horses you to go in different places. Uh huh. Watch me not find anything now. <laughs> yeah, look, there's. That's a real shame. It almost looks like it could have been a clock or a token. Um, stair carpet rod. I see a round thing up here. What's this? Mystery. <laughs> That's definitely a something. I just don't know what at this precise moment. And some feet. Ah, I've dropped the something. Ah, drop the feet. <laughs> That's definitely a something, isn't it? That's some. No, not oh. the fit that one. <laughs> no, that's feet, I know that. Yes. yes, I don't know what, but we don't have time to do it now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you see that? Is that Millifor? I don't know, it's a dirty. <laughs> my, I don't know. Oh, it's not a bee, it's like a pen. Yeah, like a camera. camera. I'm not even filming, I don't know why I'm <laughs> filming the camera. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I don't even think it's Millifor. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We haven't got time to look now. Wait, look. What? Oh, so that's... Oh, yeah. I'll just another part of it. Oh! Oh, no. See, there's another bit. Okay, we need to... <laughs> ah! Dropping things. I need to put them in my thing. <laughs> the red bead. You're gonna have to watch the roundup because we're just hurrying now. We're not really showing things properly. Little red bead hiding. Same as the other red bead. There's the red bead. That'll be a Gordon's. The dragon of Gordon's gin. It's an S lid. And is that gonna be another tiny piece of typeface? Oh, no, probably part of it. 
toy. Is that a tree? <laughs> Certainly gonna use it as one, I think it is. Lead. Another shoe foot base for a lead toy. <laughs> Is it? Oh, is it just going to be like a source? If it's going to be a source, probably don't bother digging it out. This source. <laughs> okay. Back it Done then. Then. Stem. Step on. Step. Okay. Ste step or stamp, I was trying to say, <laughs> around the dirt. <laughs> I've never been on this beach when it's like this. It's cutting it close. But then you pick up something like this and look, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's lead and all the decoration around it. Ooh. Little padlock. They might, so, they might have something written on it. We can have a look. Really hurrying now because the tide is there. Oh. oh. oh I know. What a shame that is. Oh. oh my goodness. We what? need to get a <laughs> I thought you found something then. Uh, we were just about to leave you, this beach. Look. Oh yeah. no. It's got the head too, doesn't it? It's an elephant. <laughs> I'm turning round. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a lid. <laughs> it's an elephant. He's so cute. <gasps> A zoo? <laughs> That's so amazing. Such a good day. Yes, it is. Mum, day. you're getting I wet. <laughs> I can't leave this beach every time. Part of a soldier. Oh, this is such, such a good day. <laughs> but the tide is making my skirt wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting things in my hand now. Because <laughs> literally, there's the water. Oh, a bit of soldier shooting, got his gun. Just doesn't have his head or his body. What, his legs? <laughs> Still got my elephant. And there's the water. <laughs> Look at that, we had to rush off, but. And my pockets are absolutely full. It is a boat. I don't think it? that is a boat. <laughs> I think it's part of a battery. Oh. But we can use it as a boat. Oh, okay. But I mean, everything. Yeah, this, I didn't really film. Is that the horse's head? I don't, yeah. Of course, I just I think I was just grabbing anything wow. that looked. It's a shame. We might be able to work out what that said. There's the boot. Wow. That definitely decorated, decorated. It is, it? yeah. My whistle. My pockets are absolutely full, <laughs> weighing me down. It's a good day. Yes, very good day. It's a whole teacup and it says Czechoslovakia on the bottom. So it's a Czech, like all the Czech glass we find, but it's a Czech cup and that's a shame. Oh, it's, them, it's, it's, the, it's pumpkins, isn't it? It's that that goes there. Yeah. Oh. I might have to take yeah. that and try and rebuild it. Or They're pumpkins, I think. What, oranges, apples? Well, it's got the vine of a pumpkin. Yeah, I think it's probably a pumpkin. What are you? Are you a paper? Something weight. Oh, can we get you home? Oh, tobacco, look! Wow, is that paper? Yeah! Oh, I, yeah, safe. yeah, can you put it in something you've I got? I don't have any. You don't um, have anything I'll safe. try and find. Look at that! Beautiful! The beach is gone, but there's some holes. What? Oh, look! Uh, I mean, it's a bit broken, but that would be quite nice for finds. I think we should take that. <laughs> Cork.
Well, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. We haven't had a day like that for a while. No. Um, it's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, I mean, first of all, we have to leave shared stories till the end because yeah. it's going to be a very long, possibly our best shared stories yet for our ABC aerated bread company. So, yeah, even the shared is amazing. Yes. <laughs> wow. I don't. Uh, well, it was a very good day. We were talking last week about how we haven't had a good day, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then suddenly, bam! Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's countless. Um, What's your favourite find? Um, I guess the probably the whistle. Okay. The others are everywhere. Yeah. Because if you look at our whistle collection, <laughs> collection is it just these two? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they are both. They're both. Well, this is a little kneeling. This probably would have been a little boy. Um, but they're both significantly more broken. This one, annoyingly, is just missing her head. And this one is, yeah. But they both whistle. whistle. So this one, the feet. Ow. Yeah, my ears have just started ringing. Ow. Does this one whistle? Yep. That was this one. Annoyingly, it seems to be the most complete one we have now. It doesn't whistle so well. Doesn't whistle as well. Here is our new dog, I think, not a cat. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, just about just heard that. Just about, yeah. All the dogs in the neighbourhood. Oh, no, I don't think it's a dog whistle. Oh, no, I didn't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> our whistle collection. Well, terracotta whistles. We have a lovely bone yes. whistle. And we have some metal whistle, too. We have a metal, metal whistle, too, yeah. This is the newest whistle, and he does have a face. He just has an eye and a snout. He's just missing the top, and yeah, I think he would have been a dog. You can see the sort of ribs and hair on this side. It says Germany, so probably a crackerjack, 1920s to 30s whistle toy. And it's amazing, and he was just sitting there. It's, it's a shame about I the couldn't see it. <laughs> it's still amazing, and still, you can see he's got like paws on his back yeah sorry we've been doing cleaning finds that's why my yeah, hands so many of them. um yeah i think that's definitely my favorite find and he's significantly better than our other terracotta whistles what's your favorite find um the elephant mm-hmm. i love him <laughs> You can, you can still see he's got details on his face. See missing one leg. Yeah, just but one leg. But I'm collecting things for a, 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 um, a zoo. I've got lots of monkeys. I've got a donkey. Oh, I can't get the monkeys. The monkeys are stuck there. <laughs> yeah. I'm, a donkey could be for rides around the zoo. <laughs> he needs legs. Yeah. Um, a lead elephant. Amazing, absolutely amazing. But we've got so much yeah, so to much talk else. about. Yes. So my second favourite find um, was this cigarette case that, when you saw when I found it, was just a big rusted lump. And look at it now. Look at all the gems glass paste gems and you can see the lines on it don't know if tooled, it's engine tooled that's mm-hmm. called oh nice don't know if it's silver or not this is stuff on top it's been a it's been quite a mission getting it to, to that <laughs> to point to that yeah. point and we only made this film a couple of days ago so we haven't had but look at that it's so beautiful and so art deco i will keep soaking it mm-hmm. yeah it's absolutely amazing did not have guessed. No. I thought I was kind of hoping when I, I was it might have something on it, it might have some letters on it or something. Not a little jeweled fancy clasp bit. Yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely. It could beautiful, be silver, maybe. I don't know. Could it's be. really difficult unless we keep soaking it. Mm-hmm. Know. There's no the hallmark could probably come off. It's just not much of it. But it seems very fancy to not be silver. It does, yeah. Um What's your second thing? <laughs> well, I had two things that did that, didn't I? I you did. Two things that came out of the 
I suppose this was a shame mm -hmm. the tops come off of it, but. So this enameled piece, the thing that we said could have been a watch face, is actually, in fact, from 1917. You can see on the back that it says um, Thomas Fattori, Bolton, and it's 1917, and just the top of it. This is a volunteer's badge for set collecting for France's Day for our World War I allies. And yeah, people, you would wear this badge and go around and collect money. And France's Day is what's now known as, what is, coincides with Bastille Day mm -hmm. in France. So it's like the 13th to the 14th of July. Um, we've got some adverts from the Red Cross about collecting. And it says, it says, buy a flag and a sword for France's Day, July 13th to 14th. And this... The um, person on it is the French national symbol Marianne wearing the cap of liberty. No, oh, his cap's gone. Yeah, <laughs> you no, know, you can just about see it. You can see all the. Oh. So, yeah, this is what it would have looked like originally. Oh my goodness! <sighs> oh, ow! <laughs> oh, that's a shame. But it's amazing, and it's another volunteer's badge. Well, and it's badge got the date on it, the exact yeah. year. Go yeah, into our badge collection, so yeah. For some, again, just, just a, a lump. lump. It's our favourite thing where <laughs> a lump suddenly turns into something. And talking of something you don't think it's going to be, should we go on to the next one? Yep. <laughs> so, this was a plain badge that, a, a button. plain button that Mum found. Then when we started cleaning it, this emerged. And is it a lady? Yeah, it looks like she's got a big collar on. Big, like yeah, a, like a ruff or like something. Elizabethan. Uh, yeah, Elizabethan. And um, yeah, it's got like a droopy earring. It also looks a bit like a clown, but it's not. <laughs> it looks like a Poirot. Yeah. yeah, it's got nothing on the back, but it's beautiful. And yeah, we thought it was plain. You thought oh. it was plain, and look at it. It's stunning. Yeah, it's just our favourite thing. <laughs> We've got the padlock, which has turned out beautifully. It needs a bit more soaking. Yeah, but it's got such a beautiful logo and it's a Corbin padlock. So once again, an American padlock. Oh. Um, that they were around from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. Well, I think they were around a lot longer, but that's probably when this is from. So again, an American traveller came over, but it's locked. Mm. <sighs> That's probably where they threw it away. They probably lost the key and it was locked. <laughs> yeah. Really pretty logo for a Corbin padlock. We've got a June perfume. Tiny little square bottle. Which is lovely. Um, we have a brooch with a... Oh, yeah. There's <laughs> a few things down here. <laughs> We've got our beautiful clover. I think it's only a shamrock if it's four, isn't it? Possibly. Yeah. We've got a beautiful free leaf clover that probably would have had glass cabochons yeah, in looks it. Looks like it, yeah. Which is amazing. And you probably if you found them you'd assume they were heart shaped. Oh yeah. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Reminds me very much a very elvish from Lord of the Rings esque mm. brooch. The boot. Um another lucky boot, where are our in better condition lucky boots but you can tell that it's a lucky boot because it's still got the hobnails and the shape so here's the one we found in a river with Tom Burley <laughs> obviously this one yeah. has seen <laughs> better days but you can definitely tell yeah then that's what it is a pair, pair in the someone's nursery. someone's done something gone somewhere they shouldn't have in that <laughs> boot but only on that foot <laughs> Absolutely love them. I can't believe you've found two now. Um, My, what do you think this is? I think it's sort of a little, maybe a buckle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like a, like a... Whatever it is, it's got um, <laughs> glass paste gems still in it. Missing a couple, 
but still has quite a few. I mean, they used to have things like that. They put on and off things. They mm -hmm. had like detachable bits, and <laughs> they liked things to come apart and go back together again. Mm hmm. Mum's beautiful. Sheffield plated silver spoon. I assume it's a spoon. Oh, it's got thistles on it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's stunning. More clovers. Hmm. Maybe that's Remember why it's such a good day. Such a lucky day, yeah. <laughs> um, we've got our H, T, and V key. Of one which were made in England, we've spoken about these keys before. I think. There's the cabochon as well. Oh, yes, this is beautiful. The colours, and look at the back. I don't know what stone it is. No, I mean, I don't think it's a stone. I think it's glass all melted together. Melted together. I think. So, like Millefor, maybe it is Millefor. I don't know. But it's stunning. It's beautiful. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the iridescence of the back is lovely. More treasure. Gold. Glory. Oh, <laughs> you didn't do a gold dance. No, it was too busy. The tide was coming. <laughs> oh gosh! Don't lose the gold. Where is our gold? Well, I've only got one piece here. There's a pot of gold somewhere. <laughs> Not the end of a rainbow, honest. But um, that's, that's the bit we found the well, other Well, I don't think... We haven't found... Most of the gold we find is... Um, we found a few other strands. Yeah. They're in, a, they're in a little bottle somewhere. But most of the gold we find is still... As well, a thing. Most of the gold we found two... Three. Gold. We don't oh, know if that other white piece gold, is... Yeah, it's, yeah, we found three gold um, collar. So here we've got our... Miscellaneous golds, and then we've got our then we've got our rose gold, normal gold, and potentially white gold or something. It's hallmarked as gold, mm -hmm. um, collar studs, and Mum's gold pen nib. So we're getting quite a large collection of gold, gold strangely. And there's yeah, there's a couple other bits here put away safely. But we've... so yeah, another piece of gold to add to the collection, which is crazy. I think you're winning gold wise by quite a lot. Yeah, the gold eyes. <laughs> and then we've got this, which is heartbreaking. It's really sad. So, this is a unfortunately broken Victorian early 1900s ink like stamp. It would have been for ink rather than wax, I think. Um, so it wasn't a seal then? No. Oh, I got it wrong then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is it's sort of a seal, but because um, we Not found... Wax. Yeah, we found this one before and um, Alex from the Northern Mudlarks told us that this would have been for ink rather than wax because I think she collects them. <laughs> so we found this one before, which is complete, but we could never figure out what the letters were. But yeah, I found this one. I was very excited. And now this is another one and you can see... The remains of the letters, but unfortunately, it's very poor state. And they're all because they're, um, yeah, they weren't made from obviously good metal. Good metal, because they always, yeah, well, at least when they've been in the the ground and the sea, wherever we are, they're always a bit um, in a sorry state. But we absolutely love them, and well, it's a shame we can't read their initials. Mm-hmm. Initials are always good, aren't they? And from this beach, you have found a glass intaglio. Yes. Um, with an eye on it, so which would have been for wax and was significantly older. So, and maybe now is a good time to quickly yeah. show what I found at the market the other day. So this is the one Mum found at the beach that says that's got an eye on it. Says <laughs> that's got an eye on it and it says God bless you. Which, yes, yeah, still one of our favourite finds ever. Yeah, I think. it's, it's my favourite find. Possibly. Your favourite find ever, yeah, I'd say. I'd agree with that. And then at the market the other day, our local market, I managed to find this for a pound. And it is. So it's still got the sort of seal matrix. And it is like mum's. But this one says 
may our um, remain united and it's got two hearts in the middle so it means to say may our hearts remain united but the extra special thing about this one is opposed to being glass like mum's this one is actually bloodstone and you can see the sort of bleeding effect it's difficult to show um, but it's like a deep greeny black and it's got the red splatters of bloodstone and yeah so this is Georgian still in its seal matrix bloodstone so this is worth quite a lot of money yeah and we're terrified about losing yes. it because it's so small but I, I got yeah I obviously got very excited because it's another to add to the collection for a pound it's, it's, yeah it's, it's crazy, crazy. <laughs> but it's beautiful and I'm not going to sell it so it sits in my doll's house doesn't it it does yeah May our hearts remain united. So that is two, and you would have. And now it shows what this would have the, yeah, sort of thing this would have like, been yeah. in. And now we have this one, as battered as it is, to also <laughs> add to the collection. Nice. <laughs> we'll find another one one day. I would like to find one of these in the, a glass one. You can get them with snails. Yes, yeah, some of them or, are amazing. All I want is one with a snail on. You get them with bees on as well, yeah. and all sorts of amazing things. Got some typeface. This, unfortunately, it's just three letters and then the number 10. I can't figure out what they say. Unfortunately, it's probably some code or something. It's not a word, it's just three letters. Don't forget your lid. My lid. We're not sure what it's from. Could be doll's house, could be like powder. Mm -hmm. I think. Like, like don't know what this is. It looks like a, it, it look, the shape looks like a nest, but when you actually look closely at the pattern, it's like flowers and yeah. things. But it might make a cute nest. It might make a cute nest. Many parts of soldiers and horses. And a head. And a head, oh yes. Another little big fluffy hat head, which will come in very handy. We will rebuild them one day. <laughs> we will. Coins? Yep. We've got a um, 1924 half penny with the date very clearly. I like that one. It's warm, but it's quite nice. It is, yeah. George there. Um, this one is another George, and it's 1926. And then this one, unfortunately, is too far gone. You can see that it's a George, but the bit where the date is is gone. Unfortunately, this one says made in England on the back, but doesn't have anything on the front. So I think that's the back of an earring, I think. Yeah, my kite shape is was a brooch or a badge, has the things on either end and an empty thing. So, oh, and a bunch of beads. Oh, there's the other tiny typeface, which is a, le a number six. So yeah. And that was the, the bowl. It was full of all the other things. The bowl, the all the other bits. But this beautiful pink floral bowl. Be good for finds. What is it? Bowl oh, registration number on the bottom? Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, our little fella. Couldn't find what he's from. And the thimble. Oh yeah, and the broken <laughs> thimble. So yeah, those were our finds of this trip. And I very excited about them it's just uh, yeah it's amazing day yeah absolutely amazing day it's nice yeah they don't <laughs> they don't happen as often as they used to no. but when they do almost makes it sweeter yeah yeah you could probably tell i was quite excited and frantic <laughs> yeah we got a little bit frantic at the end when the tide was coming in <laughs> so we apologize for that but suddenly we'd been there for hours and then suddenly just as the tide was coming in we started finding yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, I hadn't really find anything and then it was just, I couldn't film it fast enough. It was just find after find after find. So, yeah. um, thank you as always for every like, every comment, every subscription, everyone that stays subscribed, our wonderful Patreons, anyone else that donates in any other way. We are nearly at 26,000. <gasps> We're very, very close. Oh my goodness. So if you happen to just check that you are still subscribed. We've had some comments yeah. recently saying that people had been unsubscribed. unsubscribed. So, yes. And if, if you're not, it, it's free. Mm -hmm. 
and um, the bell icon down there, if you click it you get notified when we upload a film because we realise our schedule is a bit all over the place at the moment. But there will still be a film every week, it just depends what day we're yeah. trying to figure it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> having now edited this film, it's already basically an hour long. Yes. So we've decided, and the shared stories could end up being... It, 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 I ten think minutes. We don't ten mind minutes. a long film, but that is, that's yeah. a small movie. Yeah. So we think we're going to have our shared story as its own separate little video, maybe on Sunday. It's justified. It's justified. It's <laughs> very, very cool. It's, it, it, lots and lots of history. Really interesting. So, shared story Sunday. I think we'll oh. do. That's <laughs> it. So... Um, Look out for that. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Bye. Bye.